kit, which is where he treated Taya at that hospice, only he's been back twice since Taya died. So much is going windsurfing. It sounds like he's got another patient down there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You won't let me leave here. I can't. And why is that? If you walk out of here, you're a dead man. Well, good evening. Uh, it's good to see your eyes open. Todd, I'm here to take your vitals. No, no, you my... Yes? My husband was here. He, he said... Oh, of course, I didn't know his name. Yes, he was here. Yeah, I, I, need, I need to see him. I'm sorry, he's gone. Come on. Where? 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 What's over there? Huh? Boy, what are you yeah, doing? Hey, Charlie, would you mind giving me a couple seconds along with Vicky, please? Oh, what's going on? Well, uh, Judge gave Danny to Ross. Oh, my God, no. Yeah, and he's taking her to Tahiti. I'm not going to get visitation. That's outrageous. You have to appeal. There's no time. He's taking her tonight. <laughs> Actually, in an hour, right? So I've lost my daughter, Vicky. I lost her. There's nothing I can do about it or anyone. What kind of help do you need? It's for Danny. We have to keep her here in Landview. If we don't do something tonight, like now, I'll never see her again. My new computer has a camera in it. We can be on that every day. And yeah. my family can come to Tahiti on vacation. You know what? Um, I'm going to bring Star and the boys down every chance. Forget, you're not going to lose us, sweetheart. You're not. Mr. Can't. Raymond will be here soon. You have about an hour to pack. We remember. Uh, Danny is my sister. I just let her in, it. please. Why are there cops here? Court ordered it. I'm so sorry. I came as soon as mom called me, and I can't believe it's now. Like, right now? Yeah, me either. Um, I have to pack. God, I have to pack up my life. It's okay, I'll help. Where's Dad? He wanted to go over and tell Aunt Vicky himself. Right now? Star, he is having a really hard time with this. He's avoiding the reality. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Can you believe it? <sighs> Smile, Dot. Oh. And take it away from me. Oh. It's all right. It's okay. We'll get you through this. That's right. You will. You're going to steal my daughter from me. I can go. No, the, no, there isn't. Uh, yeah, right. So, you can help me. I... Uh... Now, why is the cop here? Judge's orders. What for? Well, because, God forbid, I can have a few minutes alone with my daughter before she leaves. Why would they be afraid of that? Well, they're idiots. Charlie, would you mind? Can I just have a little privacy with Vicky? I promise I won't kidnap her. Officer, it's okay. I don't know. Yeah, look, Todd. officer, you know what? If we can just stand in the hallway, you can keep an eye on Todd. Look. Just, just, no, 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 look calm. <sighs> calm and concerned. Okay, here's what I need. Todd, this is wrong. You cannot kidnap your own child. Well, that's exactly right. She's my child. I wouldn't be kidnapping. Vicky, I can't just let her go like this. She's my daughter. And she's Taya's daughter. She's all I have left of Taya. I'm sorry, I don't know where your husband is. Well, my, my, my daughter, was she with him, Daniela? I didn't see her. Was, dude, I was supposed to be here when, when I... No, 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 don't no. upset yourself, hon. I'm sure your husband will be right back. He knows you're here waiting. So here's the plan. My plan's at the airport. And I just can't call him. The pilot, I mean without the cop getting suspicious, but I can text him. So, um, 
and you know, okay, I'll have the plane fueled and ready. Tots so then you go, you go to my house, you tell the cops I want a private goodbye with my niece and they'll trust you. Do you know what you're asking? What would you do to keep your kids safe? We need to go, Manning, or you'll miss your daughter. Get her out. Are you afraid you're gonna get caught? Come on. I mean, if you did, what are you, like the, the patron saint of landing? What are they gonna do to you? You'll be fine. Let's go. Interrupt. I'm sorry, Todd, this is not the way. Is there anything that we can do? Your father doesn't even get visitation. Are you kidding me? How could the judge do that? Your father threatened to kill Ross and dump his body. In court? No. The other day, Ross just happened to record it. Great, perfect. It's vintage, Dad. Although this time, I think maybe it was a good idea. Yeah. Hey, how's Danny taking this? You saw her, sweetie. She's like... She's shut down. She's in shock. I know that she cares about Ross, but I know that she doesn't want to leave here, leave her friends and family. We don't know that Eli got hurt. Clark had to move a corpse in to take his place and then get out of the burning house. There's no way he gets out without a scratch. So he goes all the way to the Caribbean and then has Greg treat him. Clark needed someone he could trust. That means Greg's definitely in his pocket. Hey, what's up? You want to see me, OT? Yeah, I do. Have a seat, will you? You want to need a drink or something? No, it's cool. It's all right now. He's going to sit in with us, OK? That's fine. Look me. Listen, I um, had a couple questions about your brother. He's not in trouble or anything. It just no one's been able to reach him. Well, uh, he was in court today. He'll probably be at the hospital tonight. Actually, it seems that he's headed back to the hospice where Taya died. You know that for sure? We do. You have any idea why he would have gone? Yeah, I do. Test results came back. And my head's not any better? Well, the bed rest helped. But? You have an embolism at the back of your brain. An embolism? You mean a blood clot? Yes. It's formed an occlusion in your internal carotid artery. That supplies blood to half your brain. If it blows, you're dead. This is exactly what you thought would happen before, isn't it? Yes. It was... One of several possibilities, but it was obscured by the hematoma. Well, now that the hematoma is healing, we're able to see it for the first time. But wait, the nurse said I was just fine. Well, you are. To her. She doesn't have your x-ray vision. She doesn't have the x-rays. The nurse checks your vitals, looks after your blood work. Those are all fine. I don't get it, Doc. I feel good as new. Yeah, I'm sure you do. And you will feel fine. Right up until the minute that that clot moves from your internal carotid artery and blows inside your brain. Here, look at the film yourself. You'll see. You're a walking time bomb. What do you want me to do? Just sit here and wait? No. You need surgery. Immediately. I need to talk to Todd. Sorry, there's no phone in this room. We've got one. Dr. Evans left strict orders. You are not to be disturbed. It's too late for that. I can't ignore a direct order. Well, then find Greg. I'm sorry, he had to leave as well. Why is everyone going? How about I call the doctor, find out when he'll be back? And he may know when your husband's coming, too. You rest. Why did you leave, Todd? Doc, this doesn't make any sense. I feel just fine. Well, I told you, you uh, would. Listen, if this is so serious, why am I experiencing no symptoms, no headaches, no dizziness, nothing? Well, well like I said, I'm it's... fine until I blow up and then, without warning, I drop dead? Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, but I knew it, please. Look, you could have a stroke. The location of the embolism could move and you could lose control of one side of your body. But there's no way I can promise that. I've scheduled an OR here today. No, 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 Doc. I, I don't have time for major surgery. I have things to do. Well, you can't do anything if you're dead. I'm going to prep. Dr. 
Dr. Evans. Doctor, Mrs. Manning is awake and she's asking for her husband. Do you know where he is? No. Well, she has for a phone. I, I'm sure she knows his number. I could just... No. No phone. Doctor, she's gotten much stronger and she's very intent on seeing her husband and her daughter. Under no circumstances can she have contact with anyone right now. I don't understand. Look, you don't have to. Just follow my orders. There are very good reasons why Mrs. Manning can't have visitors yet. If you could see how agitated she was... Then give her a sedative. I'll try. Good. I promise, as soon as I'm finished here, she can see anyone she wants. Okay, I can understand you hanging me out to dry. Why not? But we're talking about an innocent girl here being taken away by Ross Rayburn. I'm going to hire the best lawyer. Oh, that doesn't make any difference. Here. Eli Clark has forged a will, ironclad. It's going to allow Ross to take my daughter halfway around the world. And that's it. We will get her back. Okay, it's just Tahiti. It's not the end of civilization. Let me drive you home. We can nah, talk. No, forget it. Look, I'd like to say goodbye to her myself. I'll just send her a card. Yeah, sure. Just, I, 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 you know what? I'm sorry I couldn't help, Danny. I always care. Hey. You okay? He's right, you know. God help me, he's right. What is Charlie? And if I were in his position, I would be out of my mind. He's losing his daughter. Of course he wants to do something desperate. So psycho dad number one is taking Danny to Tahiti tonight. Exactly. Oh, my man. No, it's a disaster. Yeah, but it's been to court, man. There was a judge. It's no. a done deal. No, you don't get it. I will never see her again. If, if you cared about a girl and someone was telling you you could never see her again, would you just accept it? Two things. Only two things she wanted before she died. Taya, I promised her that I would look after Danny as if Danny were my own. And she wanted Todd and Danny to be close. She wanted her daughter to love her father. Now she's never going to get a chance. You know why Greg went back to the hospice? Greg had to be going over Taya's case. Why do you say that? Because ever since, you know, Taya died, Greg's been a little bit off. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. It was something he wasn't saying. You know, after Taya's memorial, I found him here at the bar throwing drinks back over Taya's medical records. Did you ask him what was up? He didn't want to say. He's been back to hospice twice. Twice? Greg was there in mid-September. He told Destiny he was taking some time off. Was he close to Taya? I don't think so before she got sick, but he still took it on. You helped him move Taya to the hospice, right? Yeah, she wanted to shake Todd Manning's crew. I didn't like it, but the woman was determined to die alone. She didn't want to hurt, you know, Todd and Danny. You sure that was it? It ain't a rock, I could tell. But she thought she was saving Todd and Danny. She loved them both. It's funny, she told Greg in the end that she wanted Ross Rayburn to raise Danielle. No, hell no. 